What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, is my buddy Mike. What's going on, Chris? What's up? Now, the much man, we're here doing Fear the Walking Dead, Season 3, Episode 5, entitled uh, Burning in Water, Drowning in Flame. Yes. Great. Good job with the title, I guess, everybody. Uh, What do they call that? Isn't that like the... um... Onomatopoeia, some bullshit. No, onomatopoeia is when it, this shit sounds like the sounds like the word. Is I that think. what it is? What's the one then? Right? What's is it opposites? Onoma- I don't know. The inverse? I don't, I don't know. Reciprocal? I don't know. You're burning in the water and you're drowning in the flames. Yeah. Silly. That's what I call it. Guys, yeah, um, so this is episode five. Mike and I really enjoyed episode four, as you guys did. Yeah. Five. Okay, we gave it one more week. We gave it the week. We're like, all right, let's check it out. Now... <laughs> We've been given a lot of weeks. I know, man. Show, it's but... like overall, Mike. I mean, I know, I know. Well, all right. I, know. I look, mean, we, l- let's listen. We watched it. All right, <laughs> we watched we it. We watched this it. Episode was. Let's talk of, about it. Um, this episode to me was kind of not necessarily filler because there were some things that needed to get resolved, but it was. Um, it wasn't as entertaining as the last couple because no, definitely uh, if, not. You know, if you've watched, you know, some of our, you know, our previous episodes of fear uh, thus far, we were kind of excited since Salazar is back. But um, one cool thing we were talking off camera and we can kind of get into it right away is the opening scenes, the opening scenes of these, of, of fear uh, of these fear episodes have been pretty entertaining. Probably some of the, the more highlighted parts of the episodes that, you know, I myself like. Um, I thought it was kind of interesting because we haven't really seen this on The Walking Dead, um, even though it was something as stupid as this this woman um, not putting. Oh in her right, teeth. yeah, 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 you yeah, know? yeah. So I thought that was kind of thought that was kind of cool. It was um, bittersweet, obviously, since there were a couple that have been together for a while, and I believe they were one of the first. They of were four, they the original were, four. Yes. Um, yep. that that um, settled here in, on this ranch. Um, but I just thought it was kind of, it, it was a creepy scene, number one, because we see, you know, the woman had died somewhat in the middle of the night, whatever happened to her, and the husband wakes up and sees, you know, the corpse through the darkness of the, you know, the dark, uh, the darkness in the room. He lights the, the, the lantern, and it was kind of creepy, which, you know, I always love the zombie part of it, and I want even Walking Dead to get more involved with, with the walkers. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's just so, you know, we're just so um, involved now with all these other characters, these human, these alive characters that want what you have. I want, I like to, I like those throwbacks of the original and, and the zombies and the, you know, the walkers were the only threat. So yeah, yeah I did, I did think it was interesting. Um, you know, so uh, I'd like to, to, to hear what you, what you thought about the opening. Scene. Well, that scene for me. All right. So at first I was like, because we saw them at the end of the last episode dancing. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. When Nick, uh, spotted Nick was them. watching them dance. Yeah. And then I'm like, at first I was like, has she been dead? And he just, because once they showed the teeth, I was like, w- was she, has she been dead? Because he starts to dance with her. Then I, then he grabbed yeah. the gun and I was like, all right, no, this happened. He knew yeah. he's aware and he's mm-hmm. going to, and he's going to do it now. So, uh, two things. One, when he shot, I was like, "Well, is he gonna kill just himself?" And then he shot through it his was, head into her head. Into her like, head. All right, dude's a smart dude. Yeah. Now he's a dead smart dude. And then that gun was a gun that um, Otto had given Nick in the end. Yeah, he cleaned it all. Well, up he'd given that. it to them initially. To, oh yes. When they yeah. when they settled and, and built the That's house, right. they, he um he gave that to them. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, there. That again, I agree. That was a cool scene, man. That was a fun scene. And then the house burns down. I'm like, well, where's this gonna go? And and then mm-hmm. they're all trying to like use buckets on the house. And the guy and Adam rolls up. He's like, stop, stop. <laughs> You're stop. wasting water. You let idiots. Them, let them burn. Stop. You know? Now I have, now when we get when we talk about Otto and and Nick, I have some things to say about that. But well, so, we can get yeah. right into it. We I mean we can get right into that. Fuck it, let's go though. to it. Okay, so all right, so the thing with <laughs> this Nick all rules is, to this game, right? Yeah, the thing with Nick is is that. He's starting to he 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 wants to stay. Number one, I feel like he wants to stay with his family, and number two, he kind of wants a place for him and, and Lucy. He doesn't mm-hmm. want to roam with Lucy. Lucy doesn't want to stay there for a number of reasons. Yeah. One is that she doesn't want to stay with the crazy white people, and I don't blame her. Those are all some crazy ass you know fucking white people, and who wants to be around these weirdos, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I get that. She, um, they you know 
they they don't they don't whatever she she's she's absolutely correct in feeling that right yeah she's warranted she's correct and i agree with her and she doesn't want to stay but you know it, it isn't her people they're nick's people per se but i mean we didn't we didn't really see because you know if if you you know for for everyone that watched obviously you're watching this episode you have, would have watched the episode but they we saw a little bit of not necessarily racism but there may be some kind of barriers between the races obviously now we're going to call it racism so uh we're going to make it Jeremiah easy and yeah, how, um, yeah nick says well why because she's brown because she's brown and he's like well no 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 but yeah. But there is. I'm sorry, there is. All no, right? no. I, I, right? So I guess, so there's that. There's that. And plus, she doesn't want to stay there. She does, mm -hmm. like, she, I get, and that's fine. But he, he kind of does, but he wants for, with her. So he's got this, like, 15-year-old just had sex for the first time. You know, mm -hmm. I, 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 I love her. I want to be with her at any cost and blah, blah, blah. Like, all this weird, all this weird these 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 young emotions i feel like so yeah. he thinks that he's gonna so he starts scrubbing this damn house and i'm like first of all you're not those houses like that get get like torn down they don't get scrubbed and then put back that's not how I, that I works they, i think they made it seem like like it's not just a house built the walls weren't built of wood they were built of like clay or stone or something no so i get that to, but but, you know what I mean? But, I, listen, and the whole thing, the whole the whole part of, I understand too, because that would have been a shitload of scrubbing. And then obviously Jeremiah helps out in the end, and 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 we see the Jeremiah. Wait, his name, is his name? Is his last name Otto? It's Jeremiah Otto. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm calling so him see, Otto, and I'm like. Yeah. Wait, well, we see the yeah. we see the the dynamic. Obviously, I agree with you that Nick is um, doesn't necessarily want to leave his family, and he feels like he can make this place work, and he kind of pushes that on Luciana. Luciana obviously understands exactly where Nick's head is, and that's why she goes off and leaves, you know, her own. When they kissed and stuff, when like when he when he finally had the place cleaned up enough to where it was like slumber party night, and he had the little picnic and everything mm -hmm. set up, the way she kissed him, I knew she was gonna leave. Like that was yeah, because she like, didn't argue. Yeah, it was a given. Um, I I just thought um, you know it was. It was interesting now uh, after the episode was obviously over uh, because I'm wondering now where where she's going to go and if Nick is actually going to go after her. Um, but uh, what did I what did I write here for this? I wrote. Um, uh, oh, well, Nick, how Nick was trying to push this on Luciana. He he tells her, what, you know, with time that this place can work. And, and we saw right off the bat that that her head wasn't wasn't there. So right, yeah. it was just a struggle, really, this when it came to Nick is whether or not he can persuade Luciana enough, you know, uh, to stay at this, at this place. Um, yeah. So. I'm glad she left. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely, ha I'm happy yeah. she left. I'm glad I saw it come in. I was like, she's going to leave yeah. his ass. Like, you well, said. what do you think? Let me ask you this. Do you think that he's going to go after her or? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She See, said I'm she's good. She's going that. into, um, no, she, uh, Mexico city. I want to um, say, I don't know. Um, she mentioned yeah. it, and he's like, "You don't know if they're still there," and she's like, "Yeah, but that you know." She's like, "I know people there." He's like, "Yeah, but you don't know if they're still there." Yeah, that's but true. that's good. That's enough. That's enough for her. She just maybe wants Tijuana to go there. was it Tijuana. They, it might have been I Tijuana. Know. I forget what city she said. You guys, you can guys, let write us down know. in the comments and let but, us know. Yeah, so she's uh -huh. like, so obviously she's gonna head there, and he's gonna end up probably. I think he's gonna go after her. Um, let's let's not dwell on this. Yeah, let's jump. It was. Into, it was um, just. But I really quickly, just go back to the quick conversation. Hmm. The conversation that they had back and forth again. It's just like he gives him the. I guess he cleans up the gun. Jeremiah cleans up the gun and gives it to him. And it's like, okay, great. You know, it's just man. I don't know, dude. It's like just some of this. The dialogue wasn't so bad, but some of the situations again. They're cleaning this. 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 You're not. Why are you doing that? You're just wasting. Just. Just to do it. Just to get it off your mind. Just to be mindlessly. And the two of them do it. I don't know. Whatever. I don't like the situations. This show just has, it just, to me, has the dumbest situations. Okay. Fuck it. Move on. Uh, <laughs> what do you want to get into? You want to get into uh, Madison? Let's, or... to, let's just get it over with. All right. All so right. what the hell is she fucking thinking? This is why, this is why the Madison, this is why nobody likes the Madison character. Yeah. Because she fucking just thinks, which again, good writing, bad writing. You decide. She just thinks she knows what she's doing all the time. 
She thinks in she what has. Way? What, in she, what way exactly? She thinks she has everybody figured out. So she's all she's 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 chumming up next to Troy, the psycho. Mm. Goes out on this on this thing with these bunch of, with a group of men that she doesn't even know. She doesn't yeah. know these men, and and not for nothing, they all look like fucking rapist douchebags to me anyway. Sorry, they do. I'm not. I'm just <laughs> no, saying I... they look like fucking just like you know some douchebags. So she goes out with them. Like, what are you doing? I mean, and she's she... like, "I'll be gone. I'll be gone for a day or two. It's fine." So you're well, just gonna built, leave your kid? Okay. Her up like that, but you, you know, know, man, stop. She's the Rick Grimes of this no, show. No, she's not. Yeah, know? but she's no, not really I, I Rick know, Grimes because she's know, not smart. I know. Rick I know, was smart I know. about things. I mean, anyway. I think that she just feels confident in her abilities. Well, of course. I mean, and 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 I love it. Main... See, and this is why I say good or bad writing because the yeah. way I see it is, yes, it's dumb. I don't like it. I don't like her. But mm -hmm. it's being played pretty damn well. Because she's she like you said, it's about that confidence and it's it's a yeah. misplaced confidence. And that's what I love. And it's gonna it's not only is it bitten her in the ass once, it'll do it again. Well, to get into the biting of the ass thing, look at look at the correctional um bus that flipped over or whatever that was, and we've seen these walkers, these correction uh mm -hmm. these inmate walkers or whatever that was. Um we've it, it kind of showed us a glimpse that that um, she may not be as strong as she thinks. I mean, she did handle herself, but she did need to be saved. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, so that could be a little glimpse of maybe you should um, just take a bit of a step back, uh, you know, in your, in how, how strong or your, your ability may be. But I mean, listen, you know, she was going on the run. I think it was more just let me let me show and let me prove to these people at the ranch that that I can help, um, that I can be a like a valuable member of this of this. Well, ranch. more so, I think it was to show Troy. I think it was to show Troy that well, she, you know, she's not someone to be trifled with. Number one, number two, that she, well, she feels like she, she can can't manipulate be intimidated. Him. She feels like she can manipulate him. And he, you know, and she's trying to obviously, you know, yeah, like get get that over yeah. on him. Um, yeah. But she, you know, she's got she's got some big, big fucking balls, man, because she steps to him at every time she can. Like at that when when they all want to stop and rest. Yeah. And the guy she she won. Foot. She won that really. Yeah. Um, almost with almost costed her life. But um, she did win that in the fact that uh, we, we see the kind of leader, the 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 potential that maybe Troy could possibly have um, if he shows a bit of compassion because some no, of the but guys they run were it. She even said it. She's running. He runs his group from fear. She said it to him too. Yeah. No, that's um, true. And then he, shows, and then, you know. and, and then he, here's, here's my other gripe about Troy. I'm getting tired of his whiny little bitch ass because <laughs> without fail, they're sleeping. And what does he do? He puts a knife to her throat, like a little crying bitch and he's crying and his tears are flowing. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. I'm done. I'm over it. I'm fucking over it, man. I'm just. I'm kind of done with this kid. Yeah. He's. He's like. Whatever, man. It's just. Well, you think she's going to? Uh, you think she's just gonna forget about that, or she's gonna? No, just she's gonna push harder now. She's gonna push harder now. You know, because like I said, and like you I, said, I'd she, like to see her kill him. He could have killed her. Yeah, you know? I, I'd like to see her kill. If anything, she's the one that's gonna either her, either his brother will kill him, or she will kill him. I kind of have a feeling that the brother is too weak. Um, not not necessarily weak, but I feel like his character may may be the first to go, only because he wants to believe that there's, um, you know, we he actually even says to Alicia, because Alicia was very dark and very um, negative about just this world that we live in. When he when at the fucking you know, partying not, and shit. Yeah, fucking, at the party like and, and even with the book after after Alicia and Jake you know, get down to business. He's trying to say, Oh, well I was into the arts and I would write and all this kind of say, well, how about reading this book? And she's like, why does like, it matter? It doesn't matter yeah, anymore. She he's, says, he's, yeah, she's, know. she says, what's the point. And then he kind of come back, you know, he comes back later on. He says, we need to still have something to live for in this world. So usually the good people, the people like that, the, like those Dale kind of characters don't usually. Yeah. They don't make blast, it. Blast there's no, all. there's no room for compassion and, and history. In yeah, this, so I can see everyone goes back. Yeah, I can see Jake um, taking it, taking it in the ass. Yeah, yeah taking, taking it deep. I can see it taking it deep before, and fucking before, dying. Yeah, before Troy. Um, 
you want to, I mean, Alicia, so she's feeling all sorry for herself and, and they showed yeah. the scene at the end where, you know, you think she might jump she off was, the cliff. I know. And then she leaped and I'm like, oh shit. Nah, and I, then yeah. obviously she lands in, in this, in this lake or this pond or pool of water or whatever. The and then she feels alive. Like, yeah, it's like a reawakening. So maybe, you know, I took it as now she's going to take it. You know, she's going to take um, Jake's words into consideration and maybe he's right. And let me, you know, not just think about, you know, all the hate and all the, the death and, and this world. And, I think she's going to I think she's going to blow up her friend's spot with uh, Eric, what was that guy's name? Steve, Eric, the Jared. The head? Yeah, the head. What the fuck his name oh, was? What the hell was the head's name? Henry? I had it written down remember. somewhere. I, I think she's going to blow that whole spot up. Um, yeah. yeah, whatever. Uh, let's just, let's just get off of that. Yeah. That was like, that was kind of a quick thing. Yeah. It was like a quick, uh, in and out, if you will. Let's go to, um, I think really all we have to talk about now, which is my favorite part. Uh, the, strand, the strand stuff. Yeah. Victor, Victor yeah. and Daniel. So yeah. obviously Victor's been lying to him. Yeah. Um, here's Continuous a funny thing. Lie. Here's a funny thing. What the hell did you think you were going to do when you got to there and she wasn't there? He probably thought. Oh well, she must have left in between, and then he finally had to say it to him. And, and Daniel's yeah. not stupid; he does have mm -hmm. this naive hope, though, which kind of can I can I be honest with you, man? It kind of pissed me off. I was like, why all of a sudden do you have this? I mean, I get it's his daughter. I get it. I have a daughter. Mm -hmm. I understand that. Like you, you kind of will believe anything you want to get yourself yeah. to a point, you know. But still, so he's you know he's sitting there and he's like, and then he 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 likes he pulled that little bluff move where he's like you want to kill me Can kill me yeah, Come on. he's like was... get in the car asshole <laughs> uh and then he they get to the hotel and that shit be done yeah like it's that. done for right? so so but still he they're outside the hotel and you think he'd be like all right dude listen i did lie i'm sorry i did lie whatever nope he says yes yeah, oh, let's go check you you knew what the fuck you were looking at like why the you don't tell me you did not look at that dark area and building and be like, oh, yeah, it should be fine. I can continue to keep up this light. No, I would have, when he stopped the car at the gates, I would have been like, uh, yeah, I got to tell you something. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> I, Come I, on, I guess so. I mean, honestly, honestly, I felt that he could, he could have continued the lie. I mean, how does, how does, um, how does Daniel, you know, how would he know if, you know, this place obviously wasn't in the state that it was when now when when they got there this time. So he could have continued, I believe. Um, well, depending on whether or not, like, you by know, saying the Listen, people would have, yeah, no one's here. Madison's not here. This place is overrun. They must have left, kind of a thing. I think yeah. he could have went that direction, but maybe he was in a way tired of kind of you know lying, and maybe he realized that Salazar definitely knew. Nah, bro, uh, he got caught. When they walked in and there was no one there and, and Daniel knew it and that's why he called the walkers, he fucking nah. He got I, he got I mean, caught with his fucking dick in his hand and that's what happened. Uh, now the best now thing he's, he's the, left alone. The so best thing fine. that was the best thing that Daniel could have done was, was, mm -hmm. was fucking drop his ass. Like that was the best fucking thing. I was so happy. Mm -hmm. Now now, okay, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. He said yeah. he was only gone for like a few days, right? He yeah um yeah so I guess the 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 time that he spent in um by the dam uh, by but, the dam yeah with Dante but dude what the fuck happened to that place like it wasn't like Strand was the well, glue I don't know. does that mean that does that well it doesn't mean that there was three days since Strand left the hotel yeah now. I that's what I'm saying. Okay. He said he even said he's like I was only he's like she in the, she she's like I've been he's like I've been gone for remember. a few days she could have left like trying okay. to hint like trying to tell him the truth a bit okay you know well if it's that see i didn't i mean i'd have to watch it again to yeah to really, he said you know? he's, he I, I could i could be wrong but he said it's been well, a few days he's like it's been a few days since i left so she okay. could have left trying to you know prep it up and don't worry okay. that's just the firehouse near mike's yeah that's block from Mikey. you can hear that <laughs> yeah 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 um okay. But, dude, it wasn't like he was the glue that held that place together. So what the hell happened? Because when he left, they let a bunch of people. Now it's just destroyed. Like, what mm -hmm. the fuck happened? I mean, I guess you never know if any if if um, people are still maybe in the higher levels and the higher floors of the hotel, right? 
Yeah, I mean, I you mean, won't. You, I mean, yeah, obviously, and 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 uh, and I guess maybe we'll see. I didn't watch the uh, preview, so no, I, I can't, not, nor nor did I. I can't. But, I usually I usually have insight on that, and I usually like yeah. let you know what the insight is. But mm-hmm. I don't know. I'll watch the preview after this. If you guys want to talk about it in the comments, that's cool. Um. Yep. Anyway, look. Uh, it's okay. I'm gonna okay I'm episode. gonna keep watching because, and we didn't really talk about it, but um, uh, those so those guys that shot down the helicopter. Drag the helicopter away, scalp that one dude. This, the, the Native Americans, I think his name is Walker. I think uh, that's what. Yeah, I tried to hear it. I couldn't yeah, hear exactly. I think it's I Walker. It like a few times. So yeah. obviously, Mike and I were talking about this off camera, but obviously, uh, Walker and his men have have a beef with Jeremiah and his clan at the ranch. They feel the ranch mm-hmm. is that's their land, and he wants them off the land. And it must be something that's been going on since before the apocalypse. Yeah. So they, they've obviously, obviously, they were working with the ranch, and now they're not working with the ranch. So they, you know, they want them to turn over the ranch. They want them to turn it over. Yeah. So I'm going to keep watching because I want to see I want to see this fucking ranch fall, man. I want to see it fall. I want to see yeah. I want to see I want to see I like Jeremiah, but I also don't like I also think that he's he's kind There's of a something bit of a, about him. Yeah. 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 There's he, something he'll, about him. He'll put a knife in, he'll put a knife in your back if he has to. Oh, I think so, too. I mean, I don't think that that scene. Um, I don't know if it was the last episode or the one before with Madison watching the videotapes. The and one seeing, before, yeah. Oh, yeah. The one before that episode. Yeah. Three. So we saw a glimpse, you know, if you remember. Well, he was Madison. a drunk. Yeah. And he said, remember that that was actually a pretty funny line where he's yeah. like, what made you stop? He's like, well, I was out. I was out shooting deer drunk and I almost shot my dick off. Yeah. And then, and then he walks back in the house like that was that. That's what that's yeah, what stopped. Him, hey, man. Nick a smirk. Yeah. So yeah. I don't think that they that they showed they wanted us to see a glimpse of what this guy who this guy is or yeah. a part of him. So, yeah, I don't trust him really too much. I think the only person that you can really trust on that ranch is Jake. Um, yeah, I know. like Jake. I like Jake. Um, like you yeah. said, I think I think Jake's going to end up going down. Sorry, Jake. Yeah. Hey, but at least he got some. Uh, he got some of that uh, Alicia ass. Yeah, he got some flavor. Um, all right, look, that's about it, guys. Anything else? As always, just let us know in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yes, sir. Mikey, where else can they can they uh, get to us? They can get to us as always on Third Person Pod on YouTube. Leave your comments. Leave your comments on our Facebook as well at Third Person Pod. Don't forget our Instagram. Don't forget Snapchat. We're going to try to get to Snapchat a little bit more. And, of course, don't forget to check us out on Instagram at Third Person Pod. And uh, leave some replies and let us know what's going on over there on Insta- on uh, iTunes. We'd like to hear uh, how that's going over there and how much you guys are really checking us, checking us out on iTunes. Uh, and guys, if you're keeping up with you, if you if you if you read comics and you and you and you you like comics and you buy comics, uh, check out comicblitz.com. <laughs> They've been adding a lot of new comics. I've been checking out. I've been getting all the emails and stuff. Uh, you can get your first three months for only uh, three dollars. Three dollars. It's a dollar a month. If you get unlimited comics. Go check it out. Use promo code Third Person Pod. And guys, I'd love for you to check out Retro Squad. It's a really fun. Uh, ret- it's a it's a podcast I do with another buddy of mine. And we just we take movies, TVs, video games, and cartoons from the '80s, um, from like the early '80s to the like the early '90s, and we randomly choose two each, and we mash them together, and we try and come up with something cool and funny and silly. Um, and uh, I just uploaded our our 15th episode today, so you can check that at RetroSquad.com, or you can follow us at RetroSquad on all the socials. Uh, yeah, check it out, guys. It's fun. Tell someone if you're not into old stuff like that, retro stuff. Uh, you know, tell someone who is because it's fun. I want to try and get more, uh, you know, more listeners over there because uh, it's it's a really fun podcast and and um, I think you know I think you guys will enjoy it. So, uh, all right, so Mike, uh, we're gonna give it one more week. We're gonna see what goes on next. Um, we, we gotta finish it now. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're we five in because there's what three, and then it's gonna break probably. I'm and assuming then come that back. well, there was sixteen, right? So I'm assuming that we're gonna get a break after eight. After eight again, yeah. So yeah, whatever. We'll yeah. go. To, we'll go to the mid. Um, either way, um, yeah, we'll just do that. And uh, Game of Thrones is coming up soon, guys. So yes. uh, we'll be getting into that. That's it, guys. Thank you so much. We love you, and we'll see you on the next Fear the Walking Dead video. Peace out. Peace.